Hello my friends, I have a rare treat for you today. I have a vanilla TypeScript pop-up that you can use in your applications. Let me show you what it is first. So let me show you in action. The pop-up slides in from the left here, fades the background, the model background, so you can't click on anything. And you can press escape and it will disappear. You can press close and it will disappear. And you can submit something with an ID of type submit. And it will also close the form. Let me prove that to you. So you can see here, there's a button of type submit. If I click it, then the pop-up will also close. But it closes by fading off to the right hand side of the screen. And then it brings the background clear again. Let me show you a more complicated example. We have one with larger form. And we have some fields here that are compulsory. So if we try to click um, subscribe here or submit or whatever, you can see that HTML5 validation of forms shows. So we just put a budget of 1 trillion and subscribe. Oh, we have to click on a date as well. This is all built into HTML5 forms, which is really widely, su widely supported now in browsers, which is fantastic. And we click subscribe. Boom. My phone almost fell off the table. So I want to show something else. Also, there's a reset, reset type input that you can use in HTML5 forms. Input type reset. If I click it, it will reset the form. No JavaScript, all built into. HTML5 form validations. Deal with it. Now, this is so good that I decided to use it in my new website, which I will talk to you about eventually. Now, I'm so happy with this form that I've given it for all you guys to use because I've also published it on NPM. We have a lovely little vanilla TypeScript pop up. And wow, it's some people are downloading it already, and it's not even in beta stage yet. So the source code is on GitHub, of course, because I share my goods with you. Look at the weather out here today. Isn't that something? Isn't that beautiful? Fine Scottish weather. And fine Scottish coding. So it's quite a simple component, it has one interface that it uses called iComponent. Each iComponent means the component must have a destroy method and a show method. The show method constructs an element and we're going to use this element to put inside of the pop-up. This is the scaffolding that we use. Let me just show you here. So we click on the form. The scaffolding looks like this. A solar, it has an article, it has this close button, and it has a child container. And then we can put into this child container absolutely anything that we want. So in this case, for the demo, we, can, we give it a div with some content here. I'll just show you where that, that demo is. So in a demo, we are creating a simple pop-up. We, for the demo, we import the script which contains the code for the pop-up. We create this child and we create this content, which is the content that you see here. We create the pop-up and we put the child into the pop-up. For the bigger pop-up, then we are giving it a form like this. See? With the date type number, range, date. That's what they get when they click on this here. La la la, so exciting. So exciting. So there's that form that we're using a demo. So, we have here the scaffolding, and we have this child container. Now when we create the, the 
pop up. We actually pass in the child, and then we reference this child later on when we do the show method. We can see here that in the scaffolding we append the child that we added to the constructor of this class before. We also have a link to have this thing called the modal background. And the modal background is all this stuff that's kind of grey here. Do you see this? When we click here, the background goes grey and then we can't click on it. This is because I add this thing called a modal background, which has a fixed position like this. No, please do not restart. Go away. There we go. The modal background is has a, a data index of 1. And the pop-up goes on top of it with a z-index of 1000. Do not make your stuff higher than 1000 z-index, please. And there's some more details that people that are really interested in it can figure out how it works. We have um, CSS transitions, which we use to bring in and fade in the things into the screen. Um, we have add listeners. This is the things that listen to the key press for escape, listen to the submit event. The, also the anchor at the top right hand side that we will listen to this event and we then call the destroy method when these events happen. So the destroy method and the show method are what are the contracts for the interface. Got it? Styling, we are using Post CSS. If you haven't heard of Post CSS, please go and Google it. It is the future of CSS that you can use now. So, the Post CSS imports the Post CSS for Solar Pop Up and the model background. The solar Pop Up has all this code for making the width of the pop-up, the transition of the pop-up, and also there's a theme that I'm using, the dark theme. In future versions of this pop-up, I'll have custom themes so that you can make it not look out of color in your app. We modify things like this to force the transitions. The modal background is basically that's all it is. That we then change this to change the opacity of the modal background so that it gradually fades in to the screen. Um, what else is there? That's really all there is to it. There's a bunch of other stuff on this page that uh, I use. So, for example, I could deploy to GitHub Pages through the script. It basically checks out or from Balance called from GitHub Pages and sticks it up there so that you can the demo without having to host it anywhere so let's so when i run the deploy script we have this this build file here and it's not being merged from the origin and the master and things like that so go have fun with this pop-up if you have made anything more from it please let me know and i will be making some more videos this christmas season and stay tuned